So the earth is a system made up of parts. Wait, what's a system? A system is a group of parts that work together as a whole. Oh, matter cycles constantly through different parts. We could be talking about the water cycle. That's right, rain, evaporation, condensation, then rain. Could be talking about the rock cycle. The rocks get built and destroyed. But all of this stuff involves something. What, what do you need? You need energy to drive these cycles. Oh, yeah, we get energy from the sun most of the time. And it drives the system in all the different spheres. We got four spheres. One, two, three, four spheres. We got the atmosphere. We got the hydrosphere. We got the geosphere. We got the biosphere. When you get the atmosphere and the hydrosphere and the geosphere and the biosphere, you got all four spheres of the system. But what is the atmosphere? The atmosphere is the relatively thin envelope of gases that surrounds the Earth. Okay, then what's the geosphere? The geosphere is all of the rock on Earth. Okay, then what's the biosphere? The biosphere is the combination of all of the life forms on the Earth. Okay, then what's the hydrosphere? The hydrosphere is all of the water on Earth. Ah, huh. so we got two different kinds of forces that shape the Earth. You can think about constructive forces like this construction site. Things are being built up. So this would be like plate tectonics, which we'll learn about later, building up mountain ranges and things. Or you can think of destructive forces. That would be like this wrecking ball tearing down the building. You can think of destructive forces in earth science more like weathering and erosion. Like this mountaintop used to be really jagged, but now it's rolling and smooth because of destructive forces. So we have constructive forces building up landforms and destructive forces wearing them down. Why didn't you ask me about that? Psh, I got this. Well, you didn't talk about feedbacks. So when a feedback happens, well, let me explain with an example. So when a glacier melts, it actually causes the melting of the glacier to go even faster because that glacier reflects most of the sun's energy, but that water on top of the melting glacier absorbs most of it. So that's an example of a feedback because the melting glacier causes water, which causes a faster melting glacier. So it's a feedback. It feeds back into the same system. And we're going to go over feedbacks in class tomorrow. Are you going to bore them out of their minds by talking at them for 45 minutes? No, we'll have an activity. It'll be fun. So to recap, Earth is a system. Systems mate is a group of parts that work together. Energy drives the change of matter in that system. The Earth's system is made up of four parts. The atmosphere, the biosphere, the hydrosphere, and the geosphere. Constructive forces build up landforms in that system, like Plate mountains. tectonics. Destructive forces wear them down, like weathering and erosion. And this system has feedbacks. Those feedbacks feed information back into themselves to make them go faster. For example, a melting glacier leaves water, which absorbs more sunlight and melts more glacier. If that last part was a little confusing, don't worry. We're going to spend the whole class period tomorrow working on it. Have a good night.